Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla campaign mission. Hey, on the channel, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing uh, this main mission here, Fiery Ambush. However, uh, as I said, what I'll try and do is figure out how you get the artifact as well as the um, Goliath. I think I figured out how to get the artifact, but not the... Goliath, so basically what we're going to do is climb back through here. And what we need to do is shoot these pots. I didn't think to shoot. So that'll lead us to the... That should lead us to the artifact, but I'm not sure about the Goliath, so we'll just have to... I've just had a quick look online to see um, how to do it. <laughs> Apparently there's a wooden window or something that you can smash through. I still don't know. It says you can break through a wooden window. It doesn't actually tell me where this window is. Because... That leads you to the top, so it's not going to be there. <laughs> and that's where it works, it's not that. Ah! There they are. Not what I meant to do, but okay. I think there's a trophy where you've got to be shot by one of these for... Like... 30 meters or something it is. Ah! Yeah. Right, so let's do this main mission, Fiery Ambush. Okay. She so is at Uton Barn. Um, in the western part of Oxfordshire. So she's over here somewhere. South of Leah Villa Garrickson, which I believe... Oh, she's here. That's the garrison. I know that that was the garrison. Not really explored it all that much. Um, continue further to the south east of a large pond. Yeah, south east. Okay, so this is the area where she's supposedly at. <laughs> okay. Because obviously now I wanna I wanna start exploring the world a little bit more. And sort of heading outside of regions that we've not um <laughs> gone for ally ships with yet. Because I wanna upgrade my armor and stuff like that. So, 
I want to upgrade my power and things. To make it, um... Wait, wasn't there... I thought there was a some here. Just so then I can just, um... Yeah. She's 800 metres away, I wasn't going to have her, um, you know, run there. Too bleeding far, so. Off we go. I could do, but... Yeah! Then I'll probably be back in this area. Oh, wolf, wolf, wolf. Oh, many wolf. Many wolves. Yes, they are still following me. Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tail in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run! Go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men. The screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff, and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. Really? I must be careful now. I mean, also oh, be able to just be freaking destroying everything. So, what does it matter? Mm -hmm. 
It really wants me to destroy those three carts. But I really want to destroy this thing. <laughs> I'll be all right. I'll manage. Come on, a little bit closer. Oh. I mean, that was never planned. But... Oh, I got myself. No, wrong one again. Stop it, you. Leave the big guy till last. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he is no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. 
Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Okay, and there we are. Right, so that is where I'm going to leave for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.